We're joined by two of the members of the Garfuna Collective. We have Al and Emilio here with us. Correct. Talking into the microphones. Hello. Hi. How are Good you going? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, amazing. Yeah. And thanks yeah. for inviting us. We are happy about this. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. Uh, let's start off and tell us a little bit about the history of the Garifuna people and sort of where 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 they came from and how they got to Belize. Hey, the Garifuna people were um, exiled from the island of St. Vincent. I'm going to give you like the overview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. ended up at uh, an island called Ruatan in front of Honduras. And uh, thereafter migrated to the mainland of Honduras and continued along the coast of um, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, Nicaragua. And eventually ended up in the United States, as many people have been migrating to. Um, where we come from in Belize, um, we live in the culture capital of Belize, and uh, the Garifuna people there have a similar culture to those in the other areas in, of Central America. The difference would be based on what influences um, how people interact with each other, like language and certain things based on where you're uh, positioned. Is a big uh, influence the music as well? So yes. Yeah. Yes, we, um, our culture, um, music is a natural part of our culture because when the drum starts, the, when the drums start, that's when people start to gather. And then mostly at the end of the day, in the evening, when everyone is finished from work, meaning um, growing of the foods and uh, harvesting, also fishing and all of that that we do in order to sustain. Um, we're going to be telling stories, whether in the form of um, like voice or by by music, you know. And there are, there are many singers and dancers and also people who do the percussive instrument playing. And the the segunda and the primero drums, the, fir the first and the second drum that we also have here at the festival that we're gonna rock the show with later on again. Those are very uh, sacred instruments for our music and uh, once those start then everyone starts to come and then we do a party as and these drummers have to be able to drum for a while <laughs> you know what um is that kind of how you approach live shows as you tell a story over the the whole performance or every song is its own story every, every song it's is its own story it's its own um history um, one of the main reasons for that would be the many composers and people who are involved with the Garifuna Collective. So the Garifuna Collective you're seeing living here today is um, we are a touring crew, but when it comes to the production of the albums, it's um, many other members. We're talking about elders in the community, many of who are not with us anymore, who came together um, you know, to, to write the songs. And when we document these songs, that is, that is part of um, the creation process. And um, so the, each song has its own history. And the song speaks about your own life, your own experience. We have happiness, they, they're exploring it. We have um, sadness, you know, and, and it, the, the themes vary. Themes vary based on the composer and the people writing the songs at the time. How many of you are there performing together? On this stage today, it's seven. Does it change? It changes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And there are many factors for that, especially yeah. when touring live. You know, being in Belize, we are restrained by um, having to get work visas. You know, some people have didn't get processed in time. Mm. So, you know, you, there's a lot, lot of other factors we face in Belize, being geographically, geographically located where we are, and politically affiliated with the other parts of the world. Like, some countries don't need visas to travel to our next country, but unfortunately, us in Belize, we're challenged. We, we, most countries, we need a visa to attend that country. Mm. So there's a little process, a little time involved. And so based on that, um, is how we build the band that's going to perform. And it's always a challenge. It's always a challenge. You know, we sometimes we are used to 10 members. Okay, how are we going to pull this off now? Yeah. You know, and... We, we are we are we are well versed we are well versed well trained um, in terms of pulling off the gigs um, we've been doing it for years 
And um, so when we get up there, you know, it's all about that message, that same thing you were talking about. It's all about how do I relate my message, my vibe, my instrumentation to you? How do I translate my energy to you, to my instrument? Have you been to Australia before? Once. Once yes. before. Oh, how, yes. how do Australian audiences interact with your music? Is it, is it any different to anywhere else in the world? It's different. Um, it's a whole... Um, we, we, we like this type of vibe. Yeah. This is the, this is the spirit we encourage. And we didn't have to tell anyone. Like naturally, the Australians, people we have met and played in front of so far, are totally open. They are like really appreciative of music and art and the originality in, 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 and respect for, for talent. And I, I, came to, I come to that conclusion based on how they react. Yeah. Right? Um, I didn't like just, that just fall out of the sky. It's, it's natural. It's, um, it's, it's, it's really, if you could see it's like everybody here is like, that's the mentality, that's the consciousness, and that's the type of vibe. So we are totally comfortable to play. Um, and so at the same time, it, it's a, it, it's, it gives us more energy and more, 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 more um, vibe and more spirit to play for, for audience like these. And you're jumping around, especially because this radio show is um, broadcasting nationally, you're, you're jumping around all around the country on this trip, right? Whereabouts have you been and where, where are you still to go after Adelaide? Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember um, Sydney from the first one in 2018, Gold Coast. <laughs> There's a place called Molumbimbi. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Danga <laughs> Island, of course. Yeah. Uh, we've just uh, performed in Canberra. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, capital. Uh -huh. <laughs> the capital. And uh, Melbourne. That's where we started at the first show. And, uh, mm. well, before I'll say some of the other names or so, um, Australians are amazing when it comes to receiving energy from the stage, from the musical stage. And it's a very different experience because of the high appreciation for indigenous cultures and people. And that is something that I think is very beautiful from our experience coming here. So we are happy and we're glad to be back in Australia, to be sharing and to be also learning more about what's here. Great. This is probably the right place to, to <laughs> get a good understanding of Australia at its best, correct, I think. Correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've seen that. We've seen that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're not just performing, you're also doing one of the Taste of the World. Uh, correct. Just over in the little tent yeah, over there, yeah, not that yeah. that translates through radio. <laughs> uh, what, are you, what are you making and can you bring us the leftovers? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, um, there's actually a band I know called The Leftovers from the <laughs> <laughs> um, But there's a, uh, we'll be making Bundiga, which is grated green bananas in coconut milk gravy and some other stuff that are going to be explained on Monday. And... Uh, there's always fish associated with that. So you're going to, I'm not going to say too much. Yeah. Yeah, it can, you know? yeah, yeah. The mystery right. there, yeah, so yeah. everyone has to, to so arrive. Yeah. It's one of our traditional meals because um, the Garifuna people, we grow our own foods. So there's a lot of ground food, but this one is made from bananas. And um, we, our meat sources is always from the sea because of the nature of our origin um, space, which is St. Vincent. In, uh, in the Caribbean area, mm -hmm. and so there's always fish. Uh, so fish is gonna be a part of tomorrow's, I mean, uh, Monday's presentation. We were talking about, you were talking about this barrier reef. Is that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I was on the way in, um, my friend, he was like, oh, I've been to Belize, you know, I went, I went diving down in the barrier, uh, in, in your coral reef, and apparently yeah, it's the yeah, second coral. biggest after oh, yeah. our own great our barrier own, reef. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, we brag about it. That's one of yeah, the yeah. issues of Belize, and that's tourism is big in Belize. Mm -hmm. It's one of our biggest seller um, because we have the sea, the second largest barrier reef in that hemisphere of the world. Uh, we have like real <laughs> tropical, tropical rainforest, animals, flora and fauna that complements that that energy there, and we have mountains, trails. So we got like tourists. Many Australians come to Belize. We meet them all the yeah. time in the buses, you know, just taking a nice stroll. And so the trip is usually through Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and the trek down Central America, and eventually that, ex that entire experience. Mm. 
It's, it's so good when you have this a natural um, wonder in your own country that you can be so proud of and, oh, yeah. and experience. Yeah, one of yeah. the one of the big next big element there is the, the ancient Mayas and the ancient temples and the ancient Mayan ruins, which are like almost like the equivalent to the Egyptian temples mm. and stuff. We have the ancient Mayas in Belize, and that can be found from Mexico coming in. You know, Yucatec Mayas in the north, and then the Mopan Maya in the west of Belize heading into the uh, Tikal in Guatemala, and then going down into the, the, the more Mayan Mayas in Belize, which is from the south of Belize. Yeah, oh, beautiful. I was also reading about your latest album, which I think came out a few years ago. Which one? Um, it was uh, oh. Aban. Oh, the Aban album, yeah. Yeah, Aban. and how you, you mix um, a lot of traditional rhythms with, and you're kind of starting ele like electronic and dub sounds in Correct. there as well. Yes. Was that something that's just come into that album there, or is that something that's been a bit of background for as well? Uh, no, it's, it's, it, uh, it came about um, with us exploring, and it came about with us traveling to venues like this, um, events like these, festivals all over the world, and meeting people. What that did was it, it brought a collaboration mentality. And so what, we did, what happened is that we met a lot of remix DJs. Yeah. And so that, that whole philosophy, we had a good friend, Eli, who is with the crew, who is part of the band in terms of the production element. And we started to explore. And the Garifuna Collective on all the albums, starting from the Watina coming down, are totally experimental albums. Even though we, it is written about the stories and stuff, for Belizeans and for our own Garifuna people, this is, this is like new stuff. And this is new experiment from the traditional format. And so we are always the people ex exploring. And, you know, and, and that, that has been embedded in us. And so to take on a challenge like how you explain is right in line. And we, we are musicians, you know, we see all the bands on stage and different acts and groups. And so we have no fear. Mm. Yeah, we have no fear to, to, to do something else and add some elements to the music. And we want more. And we want people to convince us to do something. And we are willing all the time to do, explore and experiment. Is that what people can expect from your <laughs> shows here? On, on, on this show today, it's going to be the Garifna Collective as, as we've been doing for, 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 for a good while now. Yeah. And we've, we'll be playing songs coming all the way from the Paranda album down to Watina to the Ayo to um, Omalali stuff to the Aban album. And yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And many times it's our own version of the songs. But the, 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 the main element are the, are the stories, right? And, and the melodies, nothing changed with that. But it's just like our version of doing it with the original element you mentioned of the seven members. How, is, how are these seven members going to play this back? So that's the excitement. Yeah, I can imagine. And that, that <laughs> dynamic numbers that come in and out yeah, would yeah, change yeah. the sound Correct. and the energy so yeah, much. Right. Yeah. Have you ever been left where, for whatever reason, band members haven't been able to make it to the show and you've only been left with... What's the <laughs> least amount of five. members? That, five. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then at that time, <laughs> see, at that time, we even, at that time, we had to incorporate um, elements like stems on stage. Yeah. You know, a band's playing with stems. Well, it's, that's a different element. That's a different vibe. Um, so we had to play back some backing tracks, you know, and add to it. But um, so we keep up to date. We try to go with the flow and um, we, we don't let anything stop us. Yeah. Because it's all about the story. It's all about the song, you know. It's, it's all about getting across that, that vibe to people. So good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're listening to 3D Radio 93.7 FM, broadcasting live from Wome Adelaide here in Adelaide. Uh, we've been chatting to two of the members of the Garifuna Collective, uh, two of seven here in Adelaide, <laughs> but uh, an indeterminate number uh, <laughs> potentially correct. in the future. <laughs> correct, correct. Um, what, what's next for you? What, have you got anything exciting you can share well, to, to end on? Walmart New Zealand. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a few oh, yeah. people going to Auckland, <laughs> yeah. Yep, so that's exciting for the first time we're going to hit that part of the earth. Yeah. Yeah, and um, from there we started out a tour after COVID. Uh, in the US, which we're going to finish up in starting in the end of May to the end of July, and then getting back home, working on a new album, and we're getting ready for Europe for 2024 and, and on. Onwards. Exciting. Oh, phenomenal. 
sounds like an exciting uh, time ahead for you guys. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very, very excited to hear you uh, at 5.30 uh, Adelaide okay. time um, yeah. here in the Botanic yeah. Park at WOMAD. So, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I missed you yesterday, but it's going to be a good fun. So, <laughs> yeah. Be, yeah. yeah. I think later on on, on stage three, it's going to be intense. So our um, encouragement is to bring good dancing shoes so you come barefoot. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Perfect. No yeah. shoes at all. Yeah, People yeah. love to go barefoot at WOMAD, so it's good. <laughs> that's, that's pretty perfect. Yeah. Do you have a song lined up for us, Rob? Well, I, I had um, Pomona from AO. Um, do you, is there anything you can tell us about Pomona and, and about the song itself? Or should we just play it and see where it goes? Well, Pomona is a song that speaks about... Um, our people, um, the Garifuna people, who started the, we were the um, the caretakers of the citrus industry in Belize, and uh, it it expresses the stories and the challenges that were faced and what changed the economy of our people in the history of us living in the south of Belize, and uh, so this song is something that was made specifically for uh, Garifuna people, and it's something that we share along with the world and how we are still here. No, despite all the things that we've been through, we're still moving forward. So Pomona. Let's hear it. Oh. I can press play on here. Great. There we go. <laughs> 